Hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Overlord Kratos here, and today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to make a server. You can either make a server just be vanilla, so anything to do with like being single player but you want to play with friends, or you can make a bucket server. So um, this video actually is just going to be about setting up a vanilla server. I already have a video, I guess, in my YouTube channel there if you want to go check it out. I might remake it and make it a little bit more simpler so you guys can understand it. But uh, what I usually do is I will open up a new folder. New folder, I'm just going to call it Testing Minecraft Vanilla. So that'll be the name of my server here. So server's empty. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your web browser. You're going to go to Minecraft.net. And with this here, it's going to bring you to the, the page where you physically bought the game from. Um, I have a couple copies of it. so. All I have to do is just go into downloads and you're going to come to here. It's going to be the multiplayer section right here. Um, you're not going to download the Minecraft.jar because the jar is used for, I guess, any be anywhere between like Macs and Linux. If you guys are a PC operating system, I would strongly advise uh, downloading the EXE. If you're a Mac or slash Linux, I would download the Minecraft server.jar. So you're going to download the server EXE here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to open containing folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop it in here. So at that, we have a server. All you got to do is double click on this. Uh, it always asks me to run. So it's going to tell you to say failed to load operators, failed to load whitelist, blah, 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 because it's creating the folders right now and it's creating the map too as well. So here I have the preparation of spawn. So I got my map, my server's running. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop the server. So I'm gonna do stop. It's gonna save everything that just happened here. And it's gonna close it. So what do we got here? We got ops and we got server. I believe it's this file here you're gonna wanna look into. Yeah, it's this file here. So this file is pretty important. Um, whether or not you, what do you want to do with the world you can allow another you can change the name of the world so you can change the name world to I can change it to like I don't know less or overlords world um, you can get flight in there you can change the default level to flat or giant biome I think it's like big biomes or something like that um, you can force the game mode which allows you to if you put it on true you can either make it so somebody can spawn creative or spawn survival or spawn adventure um there's really nothing else you really need to know about this you can change the server port i usually change mine between 25565 to 255.45 just for the simple fact that i run a server i run a couple servers so i just kind of run between those three i always change them up every now and again um and also here too there's another thing there's server ip you don't need to put that in because it's going to run off of your server it's going to run off the ip that your computer's running. Usually everybody thinks it's 192.168.0.1, but in all honesty, uh, there's a website that you can go into actually. I can show you guys here. Um, you can just type in what's my IP.org. Nah, come on here. Dot org. And it will tell you your IP. So without that, yeah. I would strongly advise to use this website. You'll find your IP. It'll make things a lot easier. And you don't really got to put it here. So um, you can also switch the maximum of players, which is very important because you don't really want anybody to come in. And you can change the game mode here. Difficulty, one, two, three, depending on how hard you want it to be. And you can also change the message of the day for your Minecraft server. So yeah, apart from that, um, we got everything here. This is the easier way to create a server vanilla that you don't really want to do anything big with. So once I get everything set up, I'm going to show you guys how to make an actual bucket server. And that will be on actually my next video. I'm not going to do it on this one, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment rate and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you guys need any more tutorials about anything, I'm starting to work with mods, I'm st uh, starting to work with other plugins. So if you guys really need anything, strongly suggest me something if you do watch the end of this video.